Hi guys. It's Anne over at Plant Obsessed. And uh, I've got a baiting project going on in here. I started this mm, probably about a week or a week and a half ago. Let's go peek at it. I have everything mounded up. And underneath of there is the bait trap. So let me get my proverbial crap together here. Let's take a look. It can't be totally out of food. They're right here on top. My bin where I put all of my leftovers, which I have affectionately called my leftover bin. I made a big trap. I'm not sure if this was a good thing or a bad thing. We'll find out here in a minute. So this is the bait trap. I'll just get my, my sieve, dump, maybe, dump, trap in here. You can see this is just uh, no holes in the bottom. Drilled some, I don't know what those are, quarter inch holes in there, all the way around, both sides. And so what is this? This is a 1.4 liter thing. So let's let's take a look and see who we caught. So we did catch some. Looks like I left it there long enough for them to start making cocoons. Catch some, some wormies. I'm gonna move these guys over to the next bin. This is my bin where the I'm using some leaves and stuff. This didn't take them long to flip and start getting in the darn mesh. Why does a little baby one causing trouble already? Come on, guy. Look at that. That tiny and he's already causing trouble getting caught in the screen. Lots of little babies in the uh, trap. Lots and lots of little babies. I'm going to refluff the bin here. I'm not sure if that's a good thing to do with this sort of uh, baiting business or not. As many worms as I can when I'm fluffing through. And then I will bait it again. But like you can see, there's still, there must be a lot of food in here. Although there was quite a bit caught in the trap, there's still worms completely throughout there. There's a, it's a pretty high density of worms in this bin anyway, because this is where all of the cocoons go and the, all the worms Every time I clean out a bin, this is where everything goes. So the tiniest little bits of food and cocoons and the baby worms and everything end up in this particular bin. This has got to get moving. I have other bins that I need to, <laughs> I need new bins to start. My population is growing. So if I can't get the leftovers bin, avocado shell. God knows how long that's been in there. So yeah, I'm just trying to make sure we've got some good aeration all the way around. If I see any clumps of worms, I'm gonna toss them over. But yeah, there's a good number of uh, decent sized worms, not like real big, but nothing worthy of uh, weighing like in the other experiment. So just to make sure, you know, the moisture still feels pretty good. I won't have to worry about this getting too dry. But yeah, you can tell this is cardboard box bits from the cereal boxes and all that business that take forever to break down. It's in pretty good shape. Probably would, if I were to be able to sift this anytime soon, I could probably get more than 50% of the, the material to screen out to my 12 screen. Look at that one. Oh yeah, he's pretty. Yeah. You look like you belong in Lilia's bin. Look at that. You're pretty. So we're gonna make another hole here in the middle. Bright yellow tail. I know, that's so girly of me. Ooh, pretty colors. Make a hole. So the bait did work a little bit. I'm not gonna mound it up like that again. That was a bad idea. Whose idea was that, Ann? I don't know. Then I'm gonna get my gruel, as I call it. Okay, so this is banana, apple, everything over here and it's got eggshell in it already. Got some cuties that all dried out and I'm gonna poke, poke holes in them. I think I'm going to, in addition to the, uh, because there is citrus in here quite a bit, I'm gonna add dolomite on top of the, uh, on top of the feeding. Auto pit, a little more dolomite, just in case. And coffee, there we go, coffee filters. And I think the, the holes 
don't know if you can see where my finger is, but the holes start right there. So I'll just put it up there instead of mounting it on top. I'm just gonna put that like that, top it off with a little bit of paper. There we go. And we'll check on that again in another week. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And if you don't mind, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Have a good night.